Hey, hello everybody. Welcome back to your mats. Diane Bobby here. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new here, I'd love to know how you found me. So if you could drop a comment down below, let me know how you found my YouTube channel. I'm excited that you are here. And while you're here, maybe you'd like to subscribe, hit the notification bell, because I load, upload a new video every week. Now, if you're returning, thanks for coming back. I have some great news. My next book is about to hit shelves December 8th. And as a thank you to everybody for coming to the channel and for checking out my book, my online yoga studio, yogaforeveryone.tv, is offering a sale, 50% off of your membership fees. This particular promotion and sale is for a limited time. So go to yogaforeveryone.tv and sign up for 50% off to be a part of my studio. So what I do there is a lot of yoga around accessibility, positive body image, body positive fitness, getting moving, joyful, mindful movement. It's me and a few of my closest friends who are teachers that share the work of equity in yoga class. So if that sounds like something you want to be a part of, head on over to yogaforeveryone.tv and also check out my book, Yoga Where You Are. So today we're going to do a little relaxing practice. We're going to practice mostly staying on the mat, just kind of a wind down at the end of your day, maybe if you're having trouble sleeping. And I wanted to make this one with limited props, just in case you don't have a plethora of props, you can come to this practice with just a blanket and a couple of blocks. So let's start on our backs for this particular practice. And um, what I like to do is start on my back with knees bent. Have your blocks at the ready, have your blanket at the ready, just so we, you can grab it easily and you don't have to move too, too much in order to access the blocks. So go ahead, bend your knees, come onto your back, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, and place your hands on your belly, just coming into your breath. I always like to uh, set a timer so that I can be mindful of everybody's time. So go ahead and breathe, placing your hands on your belly, perhaps closing your eyes if it feels safe and available, and just breathing deeply and slowly in through the nose, perhaps out through the mouth, whatever natural breath you desire is the breath you should take. And then maybe stretching the arms up if it feels good or out wide into a T, but I want you to be relaxed here. The reason I invite you to bend your knees is sometimes laying on a flat surface can really be uncomfortable in your back. So with knees bent, it makes for a much better experience. So I also like to gently tuck my tailbone underneath me and gently tuck my shoulder blades onto my back as I press down to my head. Because when I tuck my tailbone or I lengthen my spine, my low back becomes a lot more engaged into the floor and it just feels a lot better. It feels really supported. And take five or six breaths here, inhaling deeply, exhaling completely, softening the face, softening the space between the eyebrows, allowing the breath just to carry you. There's nothing you have to do here. And if it feels good and you want to just extend that ease in the pose, try taking your knees out a little, or your feet out a little bit wider and letting the knees fall in on each other. And that way there's less effort to keep your, your knees up or your feet can just be soft and the knees can fall in on each other. So take a few deep breaths here. Experiment with movement in the arms. Experiment with movement in the legs. Just experiment with where you can find comfort in the pose. Inhaling and exhaling. And now if you want, go ahead and close your lips and let the breath move in through the nose, out through the nose, equal inhalations to equal exhalations.
And then very gently, let's start to bring our soles of our feet together, our knees wide. So this is where I like to add a little bit of support underneath my knees. So I take my blocks, placing them on my mat so they don't slide on the wood floor, propping them up, and then bringing the soles of my feet together and allowing my breath to just take me. So now I'm gonna place my hands on my belly and I'm gonna spend, send a little bit of love to my belly. This is a part of my body I criticize a lot or used to anyway. And now I'm really grateful for all the things that my belly does for me. It nourishes me, it comforts me. I like having um, a gut instinct about something. So it also is like my second, my sober second thought as well. So it provides me with a lot of courage and nourishment. So I'm gonna place my hands on my belly and send it a little bit of love. really deep breaths here. And then when you're ready, bringing your feet to flat, so walking your feet out, planting your feet flat on the mat, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, inhale, lift your hips, and maybe slide a block underneath your pelvis and tuck your shoulder blades underneath you. And giving yourself a little bit of support here. So the option is to stay here if this feels good, or to maybe bring your knees into your chest, tuck your shoulder blades underneath you, and bring your toes to the sky. Maybe pressing out through your heels, breathing deeply and slowly, or even just allowing your legs to be however they are. Breathe deep and slow. Slowly bend the knees, releasing the feet back towards the earth, planting the feet, lifting the hips up, and sliding the block out from underneath you. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my feet out as wide as my mat, your feet, and then let your knees fall in on each other, and then gently let your knees fall over to the right side. Now try stretching your arms up overhead and noticing what sensations come for you. And then adjust your arms accordingly. Move your arms maybe out wide into a T or even allow yourself the opportunity to move in a way that feels good. So it doesn't matter how you move, just kind of give yourself an opportunity to adjust the feet, adjust the arms. If you're looking for a little bit more stretch and sensation, you can cross your right ankle over your left knee and just allow everything to really get soft. Now, if you find like your knee, your right knee is kind of hovering in space and doesn't feel good, place a block underneath there and just support it. And now inhale back through center. And let's plant both feet out wide as our mat, let both knees fall over to the opposite side. Once again, I'm gonna place a block on my knee, underneath my knee, just for a little extra support, and then cross the left ankle over the right knee and reach the arms up overhead. And just take a moment to breathe, a moment to be, a moment to breathe.
Adjust the arms accordingly. Find where you need to be in the pose. Exit the pose at any time. And then very slowly inhaling, coming back through center. And now I'm going to have you extend your right arm up nice and long. Roll over onto your right side and rest your head on your arm. Bring your left knee into the chest and give yourself a little stretch here. I'm going to bend my right knee underneath me just to keep me stable. And then if it's available to you, holding on to the ankle and drawing the heel toward the buttocks. Maybe just stretching out the quad here. Bottom knee is bent just to allow yourself the opportunity to stay balanced. And then if you want, you can try grabbing on either at the ankle or the shin or the big toe Straightening out through the leg and reaching up toward the sky. If you're able to grab your toes, it's great. It's not necessary. If you want to grab a hold of your pant or hold the back of your thigh, just feel where the stretch is happening for you. And then gently holding that leg up to the sky, let's roll back onto our back. Hold the back of our left thigh, press out through our left heel, and just take a stretch here. Wherever it feels good, wherever you want to reach out. If you want to reach your arms up the back of your legs and lengthen up, you can do that. You can slide it down. Just be in your body in a way that feels good. soften. Now gently crossing that left ankle over the right knee, drawing that right knee into the heart and giving yourself a moment to stretch. Draw in. Now releasing both feet back to the floor. Let's go ahead and roll over onto the left side. Extend your left arm long. Bend the left knee underneath you and either bring that right knee into the chest or off to the side for the stretch if it's available to you. Maybe you want to grab a hold of the ankle and draw it in toward the heel. It's up to you, whatever you want, whatever feels good. And then bringing the knee into the chest, holding on to the back of the thigh, flexing out through the heel, breathing deeply and slowly and mindfully. Going ahead and grabbing a hold of that big toe, maybe drawing it in a little bit deeper, pressing out through the heel. Remember, you can hold the back of the thigh, wherever it feels right, and then gently roll onto your back. Plant that left foot, hold on to the back of that right thigh, push out through the heel, draw the body in a little bit closer. And then gently crossing right ankle over left, and maybe drawing that left knee into the chest. 
holding on to that top leg, that right leg, and just allowing it to happen. You can also plant the foot on the floor if it makes sense. Doesn't have to be all or nothing. It's just going to be all or something, right? Breathing. And then when you're ready, you can move into a happy baby pose, moving through the inner edges of your feet, pulling back up the knees, stretching. And bringing the soles of your feet together, knees wide, pulling the body in toward, or putting the inner edges of the feet in toward the body, and lengthening or strengthening the low back. And then when you're ready, you can release, plant the hands, and I'm going to take my blocks. A couple of ways you can do this. If you want to take your final relaxation on your side, you can place a block between your knees and relax onto your side. This feels like delish. So if this is something you want to try, go ahead and try that. For another final one, you can bring your block underneath your knees. And let the arm legs extend out. That feels delish. And if you have your blanket close by, you can certainly roll your blanket up and place it underneath your head as such, like this. Or if it feels good and you want to make your way seated and take meditation, that's also an option. So what I like to do is bring both blocks underneath me to support my bum. And then find a place where you can find stillness for the next few moments. Whatever feels best in your body. And I never like to determine how much rest anybody needs. So I'm gonna invite you to find the place where you can find stillness and take as much time as you need in this resting pose. And this is where I am going to leave you. So I wanna thank you for joining me today. Be here in your body, enjoy rest poses, and thank you for being a part of my community and a part of my practice. Remember, this practice is for you. Come as you are, use what you have, do what you can.